Start the video. Hey, what's up, man? No, hold it. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, it's happy. <laughs> hey, where are you? Hey, what's up? Um, welcome back to the channel. This vlog is Carson's birthday vlog. Can I say birthday vlog? Boom. Hey, baby, close your eyes. We've got grandma, we've got papa, we've oh, got yeah. this big baby. Yeah, I'm not a baby anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mom put them on uh, Facebook today. <laughs> Cheers! Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I just got... In the car, I'm heading to Carson's birthday. Cassidy and Justin, Dylan's best friend's girlfriend, is getting in the car. We're, we've been at Dylan's house. We're in Georgia um, for this whole weekend. It's currently Saturday. We've been here since Thursday. And I actually didn't really vlog anything because I was just hanging out, spending time with family. Um, but today is Carson's birthday and I wanted to film a little bit of it because I wanna have it for the memories because Sarah does Wonderland party planning. That's her business and she is so good at doing parties and that whole nine yards. So I wanted to vlog it, have it for the memories and show you guys. Um, also I'll have all of her like business information linked below if you guys live in the area. She has full service party planning, balloon arches, all that good stuff and she's like incredible at it. So we're heading over a little bit early so I can get some footage and stuff for her, photos and stuff um, before everything gets kind of like all messed up and used up. But it's gonna be so cute. It's Toy Story themed. It's called Carson's First Roundup. You dress like cowboy cowgirl. I <laughs> dressed in this utility jumpsuit because I was gonna be an army guy from from the Toy Story movie but I had a hat that didn't come in time and I'm wearing sandals so it's like I kind of execute the idea well it was a good idea but I didn't execute it well so anyways I just wanted to kind of start off this hectic vlog I feel like um, and yeah Carson's first birthday party I can't believe he's one years old I feel like it's been the longest year ever for Sarah and Ben and so we're just kind of going all out for the party to celebrate Carson's like beautiful and miracle of a life so um, if you guys don't know, Carson was in the NICU. He was born very, very early. He was one pound when he was born, and he is now just like the happiest, most beautiful, smiley baby that I am so, so thankful for. So I'm very excited to celebrate him and see all of that good stuff. So that's what is happening. Will you put this and your bag in the back? Yes. Just so you can sit, thank you. Oh, I almost just do that. Right on there. Vlogs ahead of Alex. This is Alex, vlogs ahead of Cassidy. I'm, I'm you guys know Cassidy. <laughs> I can't find the lid to my hand lotion. It keeps squirting out everywhere. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. Or the cowgirl theme, and I didn't execute my costume correctly, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, it's the oh. Oh. Hey, hi, Air Force. Air Force. What's up, Air Force? I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you. Cause there's so many ways that I want to Carve out our names Board a last minute plane Just us two We can chase The sun as it sets in the mountains Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lazy in bed With your head on my chest being cold. Hey, I'm I'm booty. Hey, 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 hey. If I say that I love you, every day another I do. Cause you know I do. Do, do, I do. Hi. Look at his overalls, they're so big. Hear every note that my heart sings like a choir of bells. How they Introduce are. yourself. I'm, hey, I'm Evelyn. And tell them that you love watching YouTube and that you have your own YouTube. Um, yeah, I did it. It's called Evelyn. Um, I, 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 I kind of hope you guys love it and like it. And say, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Above where we are, I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you every day. Another high, too, cause you know. 
Try my sprint. It's just not go. Yeah. Nah. Happy birthday, dear Carson. Happy birthday to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, Carson. <laughs> What's on my head? What is that? He's like, I don't like that. He might still be asleep. He may be so tired. He does not like me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, Carson. Hi, Carson. Ah! Look at us. They can stick their hands in it. That's going to be everything. Yummy. Once he gets in his mouth, he'll swallow it. Yay! Look at him. Eat it. Oh. <laughs> Are you recording? Yep. I'm gonna go do a front flip on, on top of these kids. <laughs> you can do something like this. Ready? I'm gonna do a back flip. Oh god. <laughs> Actually, yeah, do, do, do a front flip. I don't think I can do a back flip. I'll do a front flip though. Oh, 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 go, go. Watch, watch. Do, do, do a flip. Do a flip. Okay, a few days later, um, since I picked up the vlog camera, we're back in Nashville. Um, we got back from Carson's birthday two days ago, and then I just took a day or two off. So I wanted to finish off this video with my little day today. So I've had, I feel like this is the week of doctor's appointments. I've been so busy with going to checkups and just like getting everything taken care of because I'm still on my parents' insurance for a year. <laughs> and I'm like my checkups and stuff. And I feel like since we move all the time, I'm so incredibly bad at like keeping up with the dentist, the doctors, like just everything. And one of my goals is to like get back on track. So I just went to the dentist for the first time in literally forever like probably two years since i moved to like since we left raleigh i think is the last time i went to the dentist and i just i needed to go so um i just left that appointment i actually it actually went really well i don't have any cavities which i'm surprised about i feel like growing up i always had cavities because i feel like i just have cavity prone teeth i swear and i actually got all fit and like scanned for invisalign i have a few gaps in my teeth that always bother me i had braces when i was younger um and now that i like financially support myself i wanted to go ahead and like go forward with invisalign um and just kind of like perfect my teeth a little bit because i haven't been wearing my retainers in literally years and i just want like like i'm not unhappy with my smile 
I just have, I'm sure you guys can sometimes notice, but I have like a few gaps in my front teeth and then my two front teeth are kind of starting to go like that. And so before it gets any worse, I wanted to go ahead and put Invisalign trays in. Um, my case is very like mild, I guess you would call it. So I only have to have them in for like three or four months. So I went ahead and got fitted for those, paid for that. Um, and so I'm just having a very adult morning. Um, and then Winnie has a vet appointment that I have to go home and get her to. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment, got my nails done. Not really an appointment, but still kind of, but I got um, OPIB there in a Prosecco. So good, it's like a little bit tanner than what I had last time. And then I got the Tin Man Chrome on top. So obsessed with these nails. I just get gel polish and what else? I have another appointment I feel like I know I do. I put stuff in my calendar for appointments. I'm excited though because I heard through a few of the other coaches' wives that they love this dentist, so I tried it out because I feel like finding like a good dentist, doctor, whatever when you move is like one of the hardest parts about moving. Um, and I just went to this dentist office. What's it even called? Um, wait, what is it called? They gave me a welcome present. It's called Roach Family Dentistry, and they are so sweet. Everyone in the office was so kind. They gave me. <laughs> They gave me some shades and a pen, which I actually need to leave this pen in my car because I never have anything to write with. So I'm going to go get a coffee, go home, grab Winnie, take Winnie to the vet. She's not going to be excited because you guys already know how Winnie is and going to the vet does not help. So anyways, all right, Duncan order. I got a cold brew, three butter pecan swirl, and I normally like two creams, but I guess... <laughs> They decided to do three on their own, so. I don't know what it is lately, but I feel like this camera, I never use this camera. I always use my bigger one. And I feel like this one just like does not focus at all, but. Mm. It's been a second, you guys, since we've had Duncan. I also just got coffee all over this brand new sweat set. I'm wearing this sweat set from Mad Happy. I've never worn any of their stuff the quality is 12 out of 10 it's so good like they sent this to me but I probably will go on their website and order some stuff for fall because I live in sweat sets but this one is really cute it's like their outdoor collection and it's the it's like the best material ever hi do you know what I have in right here you smell it don't you just got back quickly rushed and got ready let me lower you guys a little bit Look who's back with us. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Winnie was on her summer vacay, right? In the RV. She just got back. She was in Minnesota for like three weeks because also you guys like, oh, I have the biggest bug bite right here and it is bothering me so bad and I'm like scratching everywhere. I don't know. My skin is so dry. But anyways, I'm about to take Winnie to the vet. She has a vet appointment today. I think it's just like a uh, vaccine. I think it's like maybe one shot and then she's getting her like ears cleaned and stuff like that. But she hates going to those kind of places. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know Winnie is one of the most like anxious, stressed dogs that there is. She won't walk on the hardwood. She's scared of so much. I wouldn't really say she has separation anxiety because she's fine without me, but there's a lot of things that like set off Winnie's like stress and just things like that so i have always been in the market and searching for the perfect like cbd stress relief calming dog treat toy food like you name it came across this brand called cradle and you guys if you are dealing with the same situation you have got to check them out i'm actually working with them in today's video which i am so excited about um i have been trying these out for probably the past month or two, I brought this packet, which is why it's gone. I have one more left. I actually gave it to her this morning because I knew she was going to the vet today and I wanted it to kind of kick in. Um, I brought these on the RV with us because we were gone for 4th of July and I knew the fireworks and things like that would startle her. So she's been loving these. You guys also like, I'm such a freak about the smell of dog food and dog treats and things like that. And this smells almost too good that I want to like try it. I'm like, wait, what is in this stuff? Because it smells so good. So this is the Calming Bliss Bar by Cradle. Um, and then this pack is the Calming CBD Bliss Bar. Both of these are Calming Bliss Bars. This one has the CBD in it and this one has Ashawanga and Passion Flower. I don't know if that's how you say it, but 
Um, Cradle is a dog supplement company focused on helping dogs live a stress-free life, which I love. I feel like there's so many treats and things like that out there on the market that are kind of falsely advertised. I have tried so many, you guys, and nothing works. And this brand, finally, they reached out. I was like, let me give their stuff a try, and I can tell a huge difference in Winnie. Um, honestly, she's been kind of like making a little bit further on the hardwoods and kind of like exploring more of the house on days that I give her these. Basically, Cradle's mission is to create a happier home for families with pets through easy to use, easy to love, natural, calming products that actually truly work. They have something called stress-free guarantee. So if you don't see any type of progress or results within seven days of taking um, they will do whatever they can to basically like satisfy your needs or even possibly refund your order so if you're not seeing any results which I promise you guys you will if you like take these how you're supposed to products are designed to be easy for you to use they are all single serve and perfectly portioned by dog weight you guys will see on like the back of the container it kind of just like shows you um, medium size small size large size Winnie's medium so she gets about two pieces of the bar for the very best pet parent experience i would highly recommend like doing what the um packaging says it really truly works and then all the products are thoroughly tested for purity and potency um, with certificates of analysis fully transparent on their website their cbd based products contain broad spectrum cbd from the highest quality american grown hemp with no thc so i know cbd is kind of a broad thing a lot of companies these days i feel like are using cbd it can be kind of like tricky like which one is like Good to use what's too much what's too little like sometimes I feel a little bit confused with CBD as well and I love how transparent cradle is when it comes to that having it on their website and things like that highly 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 recommend checking this out if you guys are a pet parent um, ever since everyone has been basically like working from home a little bit more they have seen a rise in separation anxiety and kind of stress in animals just because they were so used to all of us being so like home for so long and all that good stuff and now people are finally starting to go back to work full-time and things like that it does put a little bit of stress on your animals so that's so sad for me to think about and I hate that Winnie is the way she is about something so um, this has been a lifesaver and it makes me feel better giving her these knowing that she kind of like t it's like her taking a chill pearl she like needs it and it's like been really really good so i'll give her like half the bar when we go in the car when we go on road trips when she goes to the vet things like that or if there's just like high anxiety situation if i know she's going to be home by herself most of the day things like that lastly you guys know i love working and partnering with brands that give back and cradle is actually giving back to animal shelters everywhere and making it easier for adoptions for everybody so i love companies and working with companies that give back so i do have a discount for you guys um, for 20% off of your Cradle products, you guys can go to cradlemypet.com slash Rachel and use my promo code Rachel to get you 20% off of Cradle products like I mentioned. You can also go to your nearest Walmart and see their line of calming supplements in person. So thank you Cradle for working with me in today's video. This is a company that I will continue to purchase time and time again, especially with having Mrs. Winnie. I feel like Winnie is my child and I will do like whatever I need to to calm her and make her feel more like stress-free, like more at ease whatever it takes i'll have the information linked down below for you guys but again i'll have it on the screen 20 percent off of cradle products if you go to cradlemypet.com slash rachel and use my promo code rachel so thank you cradle for sponsoring today's video i'm so glad that i found you guys and have been using your products so go drop winnie at the vet she shouldn't be there long um maybe like an hour or two so when she's gone i'm gonna go run to trader joe's get a few grocery items i want to get some flowers and stuff for the house and I also have a package from UPS that I need to drop off. So we're gonna go do that. And then it's only around like 1.30 right now. So I'm gonna come home and hopefully get in a workout tonight. So I've been loving going on walks. Um, there's like an uphill neighborhood around our house that I love going to. And Winnie's been gone, she's finally back. So I think hopefully, I'm gonna see if the doctor says like how many shots she got and stuff, but hopefully we can go on a little walk tonight if she's not too tired so really quick before i head out i got this package in the mail yesterday lily sent over this is lily's company 112 so if you guys have not heard of it yet and they're releasing their own sneaker which i am freaking out about they're so good i already tried both colors on because they're insane and i think i'm gonna wear these today with this little dress i have on they release tomorrow but by the time this video is up they will already be live so check them out it's 112s.com i believe i'll put the link in the description but um yeah i'm so proud of lily and andy i'm like so happy for them i know this has taken like years and years in the making and i'm obsessed they're an italian shoe i wear a size 38 i would say they run very very true to size and they're like a soft really nice comfy leather and i feel like it's very hard to find the perfect white sneaker 
and I think these are going to be my new go-to. So I'm very excited about this. And then it also came out with green, which is so fun and so lily, I feel like. And I'm so excited to have these. They also have socks too. Releasing the same day as the sneakers and they're so cute. They say like 112s on the toe. This pair is like plain. And then there's another pair that says like 112 on the toe that I already have been wearing around the house and they're so comfy. So I mean, this is so insane. I wanted to quickly show you guys my little outfit. I have the sneakers on and they are so, so cute. And then this dress is, I got this a few weeks ago from Zara. It's so comfy. I'm wearing a size extra small. I'll try to link it, but I know that they just had their big sale, so I don't know if it's still going to be on the website, but the dress is a little off-white, but the sneakers have the black, so I thought that it still matched, but, like, how cute. I love, like, long midi dresses slash, like, maxi for summer. It's, like, so easy to throw on, don't have to wear a bra, it's just so nice, and then this little YSL bag. Which I feel like I need to say something about this bag because I know I buy a lot of designer bags and I'm very thankful for it um, I work hard for my money. That's something that I like to buy whatever um, This bag has been my most used bag ever I'm like literally obsessed with it and I always get questions like what's a designer like first item you recommend buying It would 10 out of 10 be this bag. They have it on forward. They have it on YSL's website um, they sell them at Nordstrom. They have these bags everywhere and they're coming out with a ton of colors. Like, I also think I have a smudge on my lens. No, 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 no. I think designer brands are starting to like come out with their fall collections. So I've been like seeing a ton of new colors of this style. And I recently just got the like tan caramel color in this exact same style bag because I literally use this so much. Um, so that should be coming in the mail like tomorrow. I can show you guys when it comes in, but they have it in like a really pretty green. They have it in black. They have it in like an alligator skin. I'm just obsessed with it. If I could have every color I would, but I would say if you're saving up for a bag, definitely recommend if you're like a shoulder bag person. I used to not be a shoulder bag person, but this bag has like change the game for me it just fits everything perfect like right now i have my keys my wallet my phone and like a thing of mints and i'll still be able to slide my vlog camera in here so Trader Joe's haul. We didn't need much, but we just needed like a few fresh produce things. I'm leaving town next week, so I didn't want to stock up too much because I know Dylan will just eat at work, but I got some more sourdough. This is my favorite bread ever. Um, I've been into avocado toast again lately. I've got some crackers with this cheese from Trader Joe's. is so good. The Minchego. I love it. And then I'm trying this for the first time. I've never tried this before. This artichoke and jalapeno dip. I'm sure Dylan will love that I got a bottle of Prosecco for this weekend to make some spritz at home some frozen peas I think we're gonna have this tonight for dinner with some steak kebabs and rice. I got some um, Frozen cherries and spinach because I've been using them in my smoothies and I'm out So I got some of that. I got some bell peppers basically stuff to make cowboy caviar um, these mushrooms are possibly for dinner tonight as well. This orange is for the spritz. So I got, I'm going to vlog this tomorrow. I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow, but I got black beans, um, kidney beans, and northern beans. I didn't have any service in Trader Joe's, so I was trying to look up a recipe, and I couldn't find one, so I just am going to wing it. I think I got a red onion, bell pepper, corn, obviously, and then the spinach for smoothies. So just a few little things and then I also grabbed some flowers. I got hydrangeas. I've been loving these and then just some greenery. I still have these um, pink flowers which are still kicking it from Trader Joe's. I've had these for like a week and a half I think. I just need to change the water and I think that they might open up a little bit more. But they look so cute with these pink mugs and you guys make me laugh because every time I post a picture of our kitchen... All of you guys comment and say, looks like you won the battle. Um, if you guys missed the vlog, Dylan was like, these pink mugs are going down, but he hasn't said anything. And now I have pink flowers to match, so. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got a few new house items over the weekend when we were in Georgia, like two things, and I wanted to show you guys. It was this wholesale like flower shop that also had decor that Sarah, my sister, goes to when she has like clients that want like fresh flowers and stuff at their parties. And I found this olive tree, you guys. It was, I think it was like 20 bucks. It was super affordable. And it's just like right here. And I always put fresh flowers here, but I kind of like the look of this olive tree here. And then I put it in this little vintage pot that I also got from there. I need to cut the tag off, but I still need to style this. Like this is not how I want it to look. Like that needs to go. There needs to be way more books, things like that. But I do like the height right there with the olive tree. So I got that and then I also got, I felt like this entryway was so plain. All we had was this rug, which um, is a vintage rug off of Etsy that I got a while ago. And so I ended up finding this table, which is like this tiny little, like perfect size table for this hallway. And right now I have that little thing on it to like collect our keys and stuff when we walk in, but definitely isn't gonna be styled like that. I need to get some stuff for it, but I just thought it was the perfect little size and color. I love like the warm wood and I thought it was so cool because there's actually an R engraved into it, <laughs> which I saw after I bought it, but yeah, so I got this little table, this little um, basket is from Target, but I thought that that looked cute. I need to take the price off of that, but it was like super affordable. I think maybe it was 120 bucks and it's like a really nice vintage sturdy table. And I feel like when I see stuff like this at vintage shops, it's like hundreds of dollars. So I was very excited about this table. Um, so house is slowly coming along. For the most part, the house is pretty like wrapped up when it comes to decor. I need to finish the guest room and figure out what we're doing with the office. Like we're trying to decide if we're gonna make the office into another bedroom because for football season, we'll have like so many people in and out. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I'm so, so hungry tonight. We're gonna have steak kebabs for dinner and then some veggies and rice and I need to marinate the steak. So I'm gonna do that now. I need to sit down and do some emails on my computer and then it'll probably be time for me to go pick up Winnie. Um, so that's what's up. <laughs> Got some stuff in the mail. I feel like everyone knows and loves the local European cargo pants and they just came out with a new style that I'm very excited about. They're kind of like the Motel Rocks cargos. Okay, what size did I get these in? Because they look insanely big. Um, kind of like the Motel Rocks ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I got them in green, and then I also got them in this ivory color, which I literally wear these every single day. So I'm very excited to try these. You guys will probably see these on me in the next couple vlogs. I get size, local European does it like size small, medium, medium, large. And I think I wear the small, medium, but they're still very like oversized and big, so. I got those little box from Mayfair Group, which I'm excited about. Love some ankle socks. We've got this oversized tee that says, change your energy, change your life. All we leave is energy. This little red tee which I never wear red, so I'm excited about that. Okay, why are these so insanely soft? Okay, this is a little white tee. The back is so cute. Looks like that. Got some sweat shorts, which I'm so excited about because they're like my literal favorite things ever. And they have a little bit on the back. And then a little tote bag so cute you mayfair group if you're watching i've always loved their stuff i think that they sell their stuff on revolve now and they just have like such good comfies this is like my favorite little snack to make myself when i'm home by myself when i'm like hungry but not wanting to have a whole meal i just have this little bowl of blackberries and then i made myself like a little mini cheese plate this little mini cheese board is so funny to me i got it like years ago in college and i think it's so funny so i'm gonna sit right here maybe watch some tv after i'm done eating but a little snack to get me till dinner i don't want to we eat really late around here which i don't like but dylan always gets home really late from work so we always eat dinner around like 7 38. much later i have onions and mushrooms in here i've got the kebabs in here 
just vlogged up the camera. Did minute rice and it's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and just like stop it. This in here, I'm honestly just gonna, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just gonna let that sit because it's so hot, but I've been snacking on these crackers with this dip. And it is so good. I also need to stop being that person that leaves it half open. I hate that. Just open this. Kind of spicy, but it's really good. And Dylan's outside doing yard work. Mrs. Winnie's home and she's happy. She's happy. Oh, look at Dylan. He flips for this. Watch this. Kebabs are done. They look so good. Um, I just did, we like our steak medium rare, so if you like it more well done, I've cooked them longer, but I did 10 minutes, flip them, and then I did 15 minutes. So they were in there for a total of 25 minutes, and I did it in the cast iron skillet because I feel like that would be the most grill-like than just doing it in a pan. I use our always pan for everything, so I sauteed some veggies in there, but this it looks so yummy. I'm so excited. This is like a very summer meal. My dad used to make kebabs all the time, and we always do sauteed mushrooms with it, so very, very excited. Just wrapped up dinner. I wanted to show you guys. I changed this pot out. I got this clear little glass from the same place as that table and stuff that I showed you guys earlier. And then I just put two of those crate and barrel things. And then I took this big pot and put it right here and put this in the corner and moved the stool. I think that I like the stool better, but I just don't know where to put this. Like I might put it in the guest room and I need to get like some fake moss to cover the top of that plant because you can see it. But babe, do you think that that tree looks good there or no? Yeah, I think it looks great. You do? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Can you turn the light on, please? I'm gonna redo the top of this dresser because I also didn't make the bed, which is so bad. But I have this tray and I keep this stuff out on my nightstand. Also, I need to. I'm so, are you seriously peeing right now? Every time I film somewhere, you follow me into that room and then you go to the bathroom. Well, I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, you did. Okay, I'm trying to make my nightstand look good because I feel like it looks cluttered. Don't you think so, Dylan? Yeah. You don't even know what's on it. It's okay, not so, even recording. Yeah, it is. So first off, I have this hatch alarm that I don't even know how to work. Yeah, I don't either. And it's not even hooked up. But anyways, I think that this tray that aesthetics. could look cute here. And then we have this new candle that I just got. Light that bitch. It's I just got that on camera. This candle smells so good. It's a bougie candle, so like it's only for special occasions. Uh, I need that. You need my lighter? Oh, you didn't catch it. Okay, and then I like to have this out on my nightstand, this like lotion and pillow spray, but I feel like that it's too much, like stuff out. Yeah. I agree. I think it should just be the, the candle. candle. But see, they've got. And then your books that you read every night because you read <laughs> a chapter a night. <laughs> so, like, what do I do with this then? What the, are those? Do you have Sour Patch Kids up there? That's so wrong of me. I need to go through this. Like, I have a random water Babe, bottle. Are you joining me? I have a Laneige. I'm not done. I'm organizing my nightstand. And you said you have to edit? Mm hmm Well, no, I'm gonna give myself a break. I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. Oh, so you're just doing the nightstand? Yeah, I'm finishing off my vlog. I also found 120 bucks. So like the that's- The money you thought you were missing? Really nice. Is this on? Right, well, I'll wait for you, or is this gonna be an hour? No, I think I'm wrapping up. I think that it needs to just be simple. I agree. So what do I do with this, and what do I do with this? Keep them in your, in your drawer. How about I set- Yeah, or you put them over there. No, that just starts looking too messy. Like, it just needs- The reason I want to put this out is because it doesn't fit in the drawer. Rachel, I mean, just like I do, put the book you read every single night <laughs> by your nightstand. Dylan's book, you guys, is Five Love Languages. What's the first one? 
What do you mean? What's the first love language? It, it's every chapter. There's five that chapters. It, that it talks about? Yeah, you haven't Words picked. Of affirmation. You haven't looked. You haven't even opened that book. We yeah. got that during marriage counseling or premarital counseling. <laughs> I would always say marriage counseling, and it made me seem like we were already getting marriage yeah. counseling. We're about to need marriage counseling if you take too long. <laughs> okay, wait, but seriously, what should I do with this soap? Babe, I don't care. Oh, and our clothes have to be put away before we like chill. They're already folded um, in, on the dryer. Can you just get them and we'll put them away nicely and then we'll be so happy we did it. Immediately. You have to use the restroom again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna do this. Why is this crooked? Anyways, okay, this is the nightstand for now. It's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite. New lamps ordered on back order, but I'm kind of like loving this little Target lamp and it's pretty affordable. And I tried to find them to link in another video, but I can't find them, but I got them in store at Target. Sorry, this is so dark, but there we go. I need to figure out this hatch alarm because I really want to use it, and I know so many people that have it and love it, but I just can't get mine to work for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, I think that I'm going to wrap up this video um, for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't even know what was in this vlog, you guys. It's been madness today. I feel like I've been all over the place, but I love you all. Thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end, comment your favorite summer dinner. Dylan and I are like in dinner rut right now. Like we do HelloFresh, which we love, but we've been like wanting to do and spice up new recipes. And I feel like I always make like the same sides and the same stuff. So comment some of your favorite things to make over the summer. And I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The sun as it sets in the mountains. Find luck like a bet in Greek fountain.